it's recording now. Thank you. Uh, so welcome. This is the August 25th edition of Jenkins Docs Office Hours 2022. Uh, today on our agenda, we've got action items. Uh, Google Summer of Code, if Vihan wants to share any updates there. Uh, the, June, the September LTS, aka Jenkins version 2.361.1. Uh, search improvements for Jenkins.io, uh, the commercial support page proposal, uh, the current blue admin, blue ocean admonition status, and then if, if we have time, a couple of uh, other items here about change log entries and the Hacktoberfest. Uh, so first things first, um, Mark's been able to take care of the SheCode Africa Contributhon results blog post. Everything else is still need to is um, still needed to be taken care of, uh, but. He is uh, out of office this week or today, which is why we're uh, joined by Alyssa, who's helping with hosting. And uh, yeah, we'll have more when he gets back. Uh, Vihan, do you want to share any Google Summer Code updates? Hi, yes, sure. Oh. So uh, just last week, I've been working on completing the tests for uh, the processing layer. So those tests are complete and Kristen has uh, given me a couple more tests to write. So those will be completed by the end of the week. And after that, I think uh, we'll be almost set on completing the Google Summer of Code, uh, the entire project plan. So nothing would be left on our to-do list. And there are a couple of things, small things that we have to still look after. One is the cleanup that uh, I mentioned last week. So the website cleanup, we want to see if that changes the content. And uh, after that, uh, we'd also like to get some examples of the experimental plugin releases that is mentioned in the issue on the Fireplane Steps talk repository. So uh, we want to get some examples for that so that we can uh, go ahead and rectify that issue if it's still persists. So we, we were not able to find an example for that. So we are not sure if that is even an issue as of now, because the example that Mark mentioned is, uh, is not an experimental plugin anymore. So it has been converted into a proper plugin. And so, yeah, we have to look into that. And uh, we have to do some research uh, on the side of getting uh, the plugin name in front of the classes. For example, for class get CM, we want to see that it is coming from get plugin. Uh, that is more on the research side since we don't have proper descriptors for those parameters. But uh, yeah, it is uh, something that is ongoing, but it's not a blocker for a, G a GSOC project as, as far as it is concerned. And I have not changed the UI of the links as much. The uh, after clicking on the expand button, the links are the text size remains the same. So I'll just show it uh, real quick how it looks. Great. So share. So this is how it looks now. So earlier the links were getting slightly larger. But now they go uniformly with the code font style. Um, so basically we can just see that happening everywhere. And as a part of the project, I would also like to uh, uh, create a configuration file as a starting point so that uh, we have some result uh, of this processing there. So um, easing up some work for the docs maintainers. I'll try to add uh, around nine to 10 parameters in the config file itself so that we see some results in the reduction of the size of the page loading speed. Um, so I, I think it will be a good starting point for the process, the new feature that is added. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Bihan. Is uh, there anything else that we can do to help with what you're looking for as far as the examples go or any of the other items here? Um, yes, so we were actually looking for help in identifying uh, any experimental uh, plugin that could uh, come up in the pipeline steps reference. Um, so any if anyone is able to find an example for that, uh, please uh, let us know via the docs uh, Gitter channel or anywhere possible. So, and okay. I'll also link the issue that uh, that was that I'm, that I was talking about in this space. So after some time. Okay, great, awesome. Thank you so much. And um, is the link in uh, Gitter already, or would you be able to share that? 
uh, I'll, I'll share it in the chat or I'll add it as a comment, maybe. I'll okay. hyperlink the text that you've added. Yeah, that would be perfect, Vahan, if you could do that. Thank you. Sure. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda here is uh, the September Jenkins release, Jenkins 2.361.1. Uh, so there are uh, the change log and the upgrade guide are essentially complete. Uh, I've been able to compile everything, get all the backports in there. We've had some items come up with Open JDK 11 that we were able to add in there and make sure people are aware, um, as it does affect the latest the release coming up. Uh, there are already resolutions in place. We just didn't get a chance to get to them prior to the release, so uh, they'll be coming down the pipeline soon enough. Um, uh, on top of that, uh, the uh, Faith is looking for a blog post for the CDF blog. Uh, this would be a little different from the required Java 11 blog post that Basil had contributed uh, recently, but we'll probably draw a lot from that. Um, it's a little higher level and more about the innovations and major changes Jenkins has had over the years that gets us to today in Java 11. Uh, and it will also uh, provide Java 17 support. Uh, so this is a big new one for current for uh, users as well, uh, since before it was only for available in preview. So now that this will be general availability, that's gonna give a lot of uh, access and, and control to the user base. Uh, there uh, is plans to improve the search results that uh, show up on Jenkins.io. We use Algolia, but right now the Jenkins IO Algolia is a little older and needs to be upgraded uh, from the legacy scraper. Uh, that'll take some time and it looks as though someone with specific credentials will need to take care of this, AKA uh, either Mark or Gavin Mogan. Uh, Mark has created a GitHub uh, issue for it, but there has not been any movement on it as of yet. Uh, so there, there's nothing um, of note in the issue itself. Uh, this is something that uh, is needed and will be vastly improved in the long run uh, when people are able to search for things like upgrade and find the upgrade guides themselves. We've talked a few, we've talked uh, over the last few weeks, months about the commercial support page proposal that Gavin has submitted and shared. Um, still looking for feedback, still looking for any kind of uh, ideas, discussions, suggestions, anything at all for that. Um, if you have any proposals or ideas on how a support page would be helpful to vendors, commercial convent, commercial vendors or support vendors, um, you know, feel free to share it there. It's uh, it's available to anyone, so uh, lines of communication are open. Uh, we have the Blue Ocean admonition. Um, so right now it's actually been compiled into all the Jenkins pages. Um, we've got it in the tutorials, we've got it in the Blue Ocean docs. Uh, we are looking to put it into the plugin documentation, which Basil has done already. Uh, and then we still need to try and figure out how to add it to the Docker Hub entry uh, for the Blue Ocean container. This is something a little outside of the Jenkins uh, project, but uh, connects directly to it. So uh, it's just a little bit more involved. Um, and then in here, we, the idea would be we have to, we have a link to the official docs and, and the embedded admin, admonition as well. Uh, the change log entries from multiple repositories, uh, it's just a matter of fact of we get multiple change log entries from multiple repositories anytime there's a, uh, you know, wide sweeping release. Uh, Mark's going to check in with the developer list about potential solutions from that or best ways to combine all those into uh, less uh, entries. And then uh, last on the list here is just Hacktoberfest documentation contribu contributions. Uh, there are some places in the docs that need to be converted from Wiki to Markdown. Uh, we're still discussing what the uh, docs project might look like for Hacktoberfest. Um, there are some things that we've been discussing, but it would require a lot more knowledge of Jenkins overall than might have time for. 
so we want to make it a little bit more accessible for uh, anyone who wants to help. Um, more will be discussed as soon as we come up with those ideas and uh, we get as we get closer to Actoberfest itself. Uh, now, uh, so that's all that we had on the agenda for today. Does anyone have anything else that they'd like to add to it or uh, any other comments, concerns, discussions they'd like to have? Nothing from my side. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Of course, John. And uh, I'll take everyone else's silence as we're all set on that. So uh, I think we can stop the recording.